Hi everyone, this is my video response for Mars Monster. Um, so I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful... No, I'm not going to show you how to create this. I'm going to create how to show you how to create almost the exact same shade that you see when you... How will you act? <laughs> Uh, that's not my real accent, that's my acting skills showing through. Um, so I'm going to show you how to create swatch perfect lips. Um, that resemble the actual color that's on the stick. Your lipstick. So, first thing you're going to want to do is get the hard candy nobody's perfect concealer palette. Or any concealer palette. And you're going to want to mix this shade and this shade. You're going to want to mix a shade a little bit in the middle for you. Just go for this. Yeah, you're just going to want to mix this and this. And you're just going to want to apply it to your lips. And this just kind of sets a, a very, you know, skin tonish color to your lips. I'm sorry if I have a fake accent. Putting makeup on sometimes will like it, like um, sort of um, it kind of um, sort of it sort of like triggers my other past lives or something. I don't know. And it gives me accents. Like I'll be talking. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Don't listen to me. So now it is a little. Bit not correct, you can just pat it down so that it's more matte or whatever. So now you're just going to take some translucent powder. Um, this is Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder Shine Control in 001 Transparent. And this just kind of gives a better surface. Oh, yeah, lips. Three lipsticks. Also, you want moisturized lips. I already moisturized my lips, so it's fine. If your powder shiny, you just press it down a little bit. Um, next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your lip color. And you always want to mirror when you do this because it can get a little bit tricky now that you have very light lips. So you're just going to twirl this up. Don't twirl it up too far, just about like that. And you're just going to... Mm, see how perfect that is? Perfect color. Now, of course, it'll look a lot better if you don't have cracked lips like mine. Because I chew on them from time to time because I'm a nervous wreck in the real world. So, there it is. And as you can see, it's very, very close to what this looks like. And then you have to remember that I have bad lighting. Look at that. It's the exact same shade. That is amazing color. This is Rimmel 220 Pink Chic. And so, what you can do to make this outlast in color is you just a lot. Pull on your lip. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. This may slightly reduce your color, but it helps to stay on longer. If I I find in the morning if I don't do this since I've been doing it regularly these past few days or something, um, it just feels weird and I get a lot of payoff on drinks and stuff, so it's really nice. Um, choose me, I guess. You know, um, yeah, I look really stupid tonight. Um, I do a lot of weird, crazy looks when I do things past four, so.
to a little grudge there for you. <laughs> that was fun. So, it's been a great time showing you this great trick. And now, since you've waited long and patiently for my favorite eyeshadow, it's this CoverGirl stuff and it's super pigmented. I say it's about like coastal scents. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. <laughs> It's like 8 o'clock and I'm just doing my makeup. 8 p.m. So I had to take it off in a little bit. I can sleep in it, I guess. But here it is. This is my look. My ghost look. And then I hope you enjoyed. And I hope I didn't sound stupid. I know I did. So enjoy. I get hyper past this time.